I feel like coming from the country does make you special. It's part of why I try and drive really positive outcomes for rural Australia. I started Country to Canberra in 2014. I was nervous. I was thinking if everyone knows that this is what my goal is, then everyone will know if I fail. But my mantra ever since then has been, what would you do if you weren't afraid? People find it funny. They think, oh, you know, you, you now work in a suit a lot of the time in the middle of Canberra. But then, you know, I'm just as comfortable being back on the farm. Good job. Come on. Good girl, king of the castle. My parents' farm is just west of a town called Blyth, a couple of hours north of Adelaide. It can be dusty, it can be ruthless, but it can also be really beautiful and picturesque as well. I'm the youngest of three girls. All right, here we go. Some nice feed for you. When I was at school, there was definitely gender inequality. I think only as an adult reflecting, I really understood what was going on. So I think breaking down the mould, breaking down stereotypes is, is really important. I had just turned 13 when the house burnt down. An animal, most likely, was in the roof and it must have bit through a wire or something along those lines. There's a, that's a piano there, that's what all that was left of. This was one of the most pivotal moments that shaped my life and my future because it showed me the value of community. People were coming from all over to rally behind our family. I've now led my life to give back. I want to build a stronger community. It's like our logo is Country to Canberra, like the top of parliament. Country to Canberra is a national not-for-profit organisation that's empowering young rural women to reach their leadership potential. That's, Jobs. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's what I was going to say when I was at school. We connect young women with mentors, we connect them with sponsors, and we help them achieve their goals. My name's Mandy Mills. I'm a C2C volunteer. There are so many more opportunities here in Canberra than in the country where I'm from. And I feel like I can truly make a difference here and make a difference in other girls' lives like Hannah has made to mine. The main thing that I get out of volunteering is the relationships that I have with the young women. I love seeing them achieve. when the Leader of the Opposition went outside in the front of Parliament and stood next to a sign that said, Ditch the Witch. I'd always been really passionate about gender equality, but it was a definite catalyst to me thinking, hey, what, what message is this sending to young women? Misogyny, sexism, every day from this Leader of the Opposition. What message is this sending to people around the country if we think this is OK? So I decided at the end of that, that hey, I actually want to go and work in Canberra and be an advocate. I want to go and work on public policy. It was kind of one of those things where... I mean, My I name's Frances Crimmins. I'm the Executive Director of YWCA Canberra. Hannah applied for a small grant to kickstart her idea. She was going to make this happen. I recommended to Hannah that she apply for a board traineeship. It's actually quite shameful that we have such a low representation of women in rural and regional communities in their in local government. It's very hard for a young woman to see yourself in that picture when there is uh, so few role models. So we've got girls here from every state and territory. We're all about exposing young women to parliament, more people to engage in politics and more young women to aspire for a job in politics to influence public okay, life. Everybody. I feel a responsibility to help these girls because I was one of these girls. Smile! <laughs>this year we're running something called Project Empower and that's a national road trip where we're driving around to every state and territory to regional and remote schools running leadership and gender equality workshops for high school girls. I am so excited we are 
Kicking off Project Empower, our nationwide workshop road trip. We're going over 15,000 kilometres to about 80 schools. When I heard that there was a road show that would come to us and that it was free and it was about encouraging girls to aim for the stars and dream big and, and to plan their goals for how they're going to make their future, what's not to love? One of my biggest goals, which I wish would happen, is become a Prime Minister. You can't just stand by and watch things happen. For change, we all need to take responsibility. 